What's going on fam? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 83 of One Piece. But before I get into today's video, it's time for a comment of the day. And comment of the day comes from Ben MC, who said... And while I want to say you're wrong, I can't. Like, she bad. Um... I, I think my only hesitation is instead of like an L, can we make it like a W for wood? If that's the case, then hands down 100% agree. Um, she bad. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate the comment, Ben. And if you guys want a chance to be coming today, feel free to drop a comment down below. And then before I get into today's episode, this is just a daily reminder that this is not a market substitute. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, I ain't gonna waste time on you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I bet they will. <laughs> Bruh, what a flip. Yukiguni no tatakayo. How'd they get ahead of us? I am so happy you guys came back. Attached to humans? No, but respecting kind acts? Yes. Love you. What? Sometimes I feel like flashbacks are pointless like this one, just because I'm like, if you forgot that Luffy just saved this Lapon, then what are you even watching? <laughs> oh, we brought the squad. How do we get up that? You'll see. I don't know. Nami's been passed out for a long time, so she got me a little worried. Oh, that was a body for a second. I was like, no! <laughs> what did Usopp say? Why is he so hurt compared to her? <laughs> what? 
I understand Usopp's mannerisms, but like, why is she perfectly fine? But like, Usopp looks like he's been through a battle. <laughs> oh shit. How are you? How do you not have hypothermia yet? Really? There's no way that was Wapan. I call bullshit. Bullshit. There has to be an easier way to get up here. Like, there, you're telling me uh, Dr. Kureha is making this climb every single time? I'm not saying that she couldn't make the climb. I'm just saying this seems like it would be really annoying to make this climb just to... My dumbass forgot he was rubber. I was like, oh my god, he's gone. I feel like if you went swimming and you got so cold you can't even remember where you're at, that's a sign you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> I've been asking that since day one. I've said that. <laughs> He's about to go take him back. Bitch, give me your jacket. <laughs> you are my favorite, hands down. You cannot be this fucking cool, Zoro. It's unacceptable. Nanda, <laughs> <laughs> Cause you're too OP, my guy. Facts. <laughs> you can turn to be my favorite too, my guy. There has to be another way. Like, Luffy is strong right now, and he is struggling. Even if he didn't have these Nami and Sanji, I thought it would be hard. Oh, my stomach just turned. What makes this all worse is that he's doing all this for nothing. Like, she's not even up there.
God, he still has so much further to go, though. Is that his vision getting bl blurry? This Chopper's dad? Was Chopper talking to Dr. Kureha? Yep. Shut the fuck up. So he's not just a normal reindeer, he's an actual. <laughs> Wait, you freaking out, bro? You're walking! Oh, you're so adorable! Alrighty, well that was it for episode 83 of One Piece. And I can't with this show. It just... It just is so fucking good. Chopper, I just... Like, is that even the real chopper? Like, cause like the one that saved Luffy from falling off had an actual hand, it was huge. But then the one that we saw in the village was walking on all fours and was like a medium size. And then the one that we just saw at the end with Nami was like a baby one. So are there different, like chopper, I'm just calling choppers as in like their species, but I'm guessing they're reindeer. But are there different types of choppers? Like there's there a mama chopper, a papa chopper, a baby chopper, and a, just a regular chopper. And then, like, that chopper at the end was, like, mixing ingredients. And uh, Dr. Correa, it sounded like she had a conversation so they can speak. So now that opens the possibility, like, are the reindeers going to be our doctors? Is that a possibility? Because I would love that baby to be our doctor. Um, it just, oh, God. And then, like, oh, and speaking of Dr. Correa, why was she at the mountain? I thought she was, like, in a different village. Like, I thought we went into the cocoa weed and then they were like, hey, um... She's not here. She actually went to this village. But instead she went back up to the top of the mountain. Because I thought Luffy climbing the mountain was going to be pointless. Like he was climbing the mountain. He was going to get up there. And then she wasn't going to be there. But she is there. So that works out in our favor. Um, Luffy, that climbing scene just speaks to his character for real. Like I'm trying to think of like other animes where they would do that. And like don't get me wrong. Naruto for sure would try to help his, save his friends. But I feel like he would have been like, they would have phrased it like, all right, I'm going to leave Nami here and then I'm just going to go and climb the wall. He would have, they wouldn't have made Naruto like carry Sakura up a mountain and struggle like that. They would have just been like, you stay here and have him go do his own things. And I feel like that's with a lot of animes. Like they wouldn't have made the protagonist struggle so much. Such a good show. While Wapon doesn't make sense to me. Like how does it that he was able to, um, beat up those lopins with his devil fruit power that allows him to eat stuff it just doesn't translate into physical attacks i'm assuming it was chess and the other guy they're the ones that beat up the lopons but i'm pretty sure um wapple said something i didn't quite catch it but i'm pretty sure he said something that he did um and and then zoro zoro is just he is too op for me right now i get i feel like they they really make it they're like, all right, this is going to be cool, but let's just make them extra cool for no reason. I fucking love it, but I just feel like sometimes I'm just like, all right, you're doing a little too much, my guy. Um, just all around, so I, I, I feel like I'm still missing stuff out that I saw in this episode. It's, that's how good One Piece is, is that, like, theoretically, like, nothing, nothing really happened this episode. Like, Luffy got up the wall, and that was basically it. Like, if you're talking plot wise, like we were climbing up the wall and now we're up through the wall, and that was it. But yet, so much happened that, like, I'm just like, I feel like I'm missing out on things that happened that I want to talk about. But it is what it is. Phenomenal show. I cannot wait to catch up. 
which will probably never happen, but I'm enjoying the ride, so who cares? It's been real. It's been hella fun later on.